So I got into this business in uh, 98, um, where I was an analyst for a financial advisory firm that I was with. And I was started out uh, during the whole tech uh, boom and then got to enjoy the ride of the tech bubble and then um, eventually the housing bubble and now the the, the ending of the uh, debt super cycle, which we're experiencing now. And the common thing I see in uh, right now is that this rally since March or end of March has been a really narrow rally and it's all in technology. So really, if you look at the indexes like the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and even the Dow now, the majority of the rallies in those indexes has been driven by technology stocks. Um, I mean, even earlier uh, this week, we saw a major explosion in one of the uh, video conferencing uh, companies. Can't mention their name because I don't have freedom of speech because of the industry I'm in. Anyways, uh, that's a bone of contention that I have. Anyways, that aside, um, we saw a major explosion in that stock. Uh, we saw one in another uh, document signing stock uh, recently that's just exploding to the upside. And my question is, is if, is if the, they come up with a vaccine for the coronavirus that basically squashes uh, new case counts, and all these companies that have basically said, you know, work from home strategy, does it stick? Number one, and or number two, does do people go back to way we were doing things back prior to the coronavirus? And if so, all these tech companies, do we see a rotation out of tech and where to go? I don't know. Uh, because the financials aren't great on a lot of things at this point. Does tech get crushed? And then does the indexes get crushed? And the indexing approach that we've seen uh, over the last 10 years, do all those people get out, taken out of the woodshed? This is the risk management stuff that I'm thinking about and considering. And if you look at the different um, uh, macro uh, analytic, analytics, you look at the micros, you start to look at price, volume, and volatility. And I think what you're starting to see is that uh, the puppy is starting to roll over. I know that's a stupid saying, whatever. Anyways, you get my point. Risk management folks, markets just don't go up vertically. They also can correct. And the question is, are you in a position closing in a retirement, in retirement, to sustain a reduction of anywhere between 10 and 50% of your asset value? If you're not, then I suggest you start really, really scrutinizing what you're invested in. Because this rally has been super narrow. And in the end of the day, if it's a super narrow rally, that means that rally can end abruptly. And if there's nothing supporting it, like other uh, sectors moving higher, and if you look at the data, unemployment, actual people in the labor force has drastically dropped. You look at household debt, you look at corporate debt, you look at global debt, solvency is going to be an issue. There's no yield in the bond market. I mean, I think at the end of the day, you need to start risk managing. And if you're in retirement or approaching retirement, and analyze your portfolio and ask, if X happens, how does that affect me? So I hope you have a great day, enjoyable, wonderful day. Take advantage of this opportunity to better manage your finances your risk management to tune up uh, being a better investor. So, all right, take care and have a great day.